what's popping you guys it is me it is she it is beaver it is scorpion reds tarot and that is my bird charlie um <laughs> i am in here to let you guys know what the energy is for love for the month of uh september 2023 i have no idea what sign we're getting into i'm just about to do a random I'm about to do a random roll of the dice to figure out what time we're getting into. I started out doing like from Aries all the way through Pisces, but it was just getting boring that way. I just kind of want to shake it up a little bit. So let's see who we're getting into today. So let's do a quick shuffle. Charlie, you won't get out if you're going to be interrupted, boy. Who is this? This is a. Uh, who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? Page me a 546 cinema. Oh, this Aries. I already did Aries. So let's see who else we want to do. Who is this? Capricorn. Capricorn. It is all about you. Who would it do? Okay, Charlie, you gotta you gotta go. I love you, but you gotta go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me put you in the window or something. You ain't about to be interrupting. You're not about to be interrupting like that, Poppy. Go. He do not want to get off of me. Y'all forget my bird. Forget my bird. Listen. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. So, you know, before we get into any readings, I just want to give a shout out to my OGs, shout out to my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies who has liked, shared, and subscribed and clicked this video. And here is Charlie making his appearance. Say, hey, Charlie. Say, hi. He looking around like, who the fuck is she talking to? Who is she talking to? All right, anyway. So I want to give a shout out to all my babies for coming through and support. I want to give God a quick shout out. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here collectively. Please give the sign of Capricorn a guidance that they need to receive um, in love to help them strengthen and broaden uh, their current love situations or to call in the right love situation into their life so father god please give the sign a capricorn a goddess that they need to receive today thank you so much jesus amen amen and amen all right all right let's get into this so oh forget my bird if i gotta re-record this i'll, I'll just record y'all another video because he is definitely not trying to get off of me all right, so let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Let me write y'all down real quick. My Cappies. All right. So let's see what we got going on for my Capricorns. And love for September 2023. Hold on. Ooh, I just heard. Turn off the lights. Hey, and light a candle. Yes, yeah, we going to relight that, baby. Hold on. Don't, don't play with me. All right, so let's see. What do we got? What we got going on? Capricorn. Oh shit, we got leaving. Is that why the flame went out? Is somebody leaving. She's leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Let's figure out what the hell going on. What is going on? What is going on with my Capricorn? Charlie, you gotta go. Okay, hold on y'all. I'll be right back. Don't be mad at me. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He like, man, you wouldn't even bother me and shit. What the hell I gotta go for? That's what the hell I'm asking. Like, what the hell this person gotta go for? Why? Like, what's going on? Somebody is upset. I'm hearing somebody is blindsided. This girl just said I did everything that you wanted me to do and you and you still leaving. Like I did everything you wanted me to do. Like, what did I not do? Okay, let's figure out what the hell is going on because I don't like this. What's going on in love for um, Capricorn? Capricorn, what's going on? Capricorn, what is going on? All right. What's going on with my Capricorns? Knight of Chalice is in the reverse, so someone is in love with someone else. Someone lost interest in this situation. And again, I, this man could be a lover, a lover boy, a player, the hermit. 
someone very much so knows that this person has been sleeping with somebody i, I want to say it's in your face like i don't even feel like this person has been hiding this shit I ain't even been hiding this shit i feel like someone's just been sitting there not saying something and i i don't you thought by just sitting there not saying something that it was like it was never going to materialize to this person eventually leaving like this person doesn't love you like this person shows you every day that they don't give a fuck about you <laughs> like if there's any excess of time that this person has they don't spend it with you You got the seven of swords. You got the king of swords. And then you got the seven of wands. Y'all very much so know what's going on. So don't act like you oblivious. Don't act like that. You know the seven of swords is the, the enemy the enemy is on the field like someone is backstabbing betraying you deception lies i heard larceny fucking larceny really and someone very much so knows what they're doing and they they feel like they're not going to get caught or checked about it you ain't checking shit you ain't going you don't it's, it's like someone knows that someone don't have the balls or the gumption to confront them about what they're doing look this is the king of swords in the reverse and look at this card ain't he with another woman and the main woman can see this shit he just gonna lie to you and like the king of swords in the reverse like this is someone that uses their dominance and their um their masculine ability to like stand over top and dominate and control women. So it's like, even though she has a right to speak and say something about she feel me, cause for, for God's sake, you're her husband. Like, if she feels like there's some infidelity or something going on, she should be able to check you about it and should be able to say something to you about it. But in this situation, you know better than to open up your mouth and say something to this man about this shit. I wouldn't be surprised if he won't smack the shit out of you. Like, honestly, for even... For thinking that you can approach him with such bullshit. Yeah, you seen me, bitch. And? I don't like this energy, y'all. Because even look at this man. Look at his face in the picture. Don't he look like someone that would smack the shit out of her? I wish you would say something. And it's like this woman is watching this man going out the door. He, She knows good and goddamn well that he's fucking other people. He does this shit in her face blatantly. Blatantly. And then you got the seven of wands. And this person has the uh, audacity to be defensive. Like, why the fuck are you questioning me? You don't have no right to question me about shit. So it's like, you may be asking this person about something that this person lied about, but he's standing on that shit. He's, st he not, he's not backing down from whatever lie he told you. He's not budging from that shit. And again, if you start probing too much, he might smack the shit out of you. Like, I promise you, like, this is not, I don't like this. You, I'm leaving and you ain't gonna do shit about it. What you gonna say? And my bird is all upset and everything. Let me close this door because I don't want y'all to be hearing him. It's like, my bird is all upset. And then I split the deck and it says hesitation. Someone knows that they need to leave. Look, hesitation and you got someone on the other side. Past heartbreak, broken trust, a fade to move forward. You could be afraid to move forward if you want to. He's going to leave you anyway. Like he's going to leave you. So you can hesitate if you want to and get left in the dust. Like a smart person, if you knew better, you do better. And then I split the deck and you got released right here. Someone is being released. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Like I don't want to shut my bird out, but I, I got to do my job, bro. Look, he flew back here. He's like, bitch. All right. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Look, the answer is no. No. 
This person does not keep you balanced. You are emotionally upset. You almost feel afraid to be open and confront this person with how you feel. There's a, hesit there's a hesitation from you of really expressing how you feel and asking the questions and getting the answers because of this person's assertiveness. There's somebody hiding that this person be smacking the shit out. There's someone hiding the fact that this man would not hesitate to put a foot off in your ass. I just heard someone say I don't know what I'm doing in this situation because this person is not backing down and I honestly feel like you confronting this person about their infidelities and their cheating they may leave you just for having the audacity to confront them because it's like who the fuck do you think you're talking to Got a square. Checking your social media. Oh, there's a square checking your social media. I am over it already. I told you, like, this person don't love you. This person don't love you, bro. Husband type. I'm over it. It's like this person is over playing that husband role. This person has been sneaking and doing deceptive shit. Because they're over it. It's like, I'm not trying to play house with you, bitch. I'm really not. With this, listen, you got to understand. The Seven of Swords is somebody that ain't, that is not playing for you to win. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a reason why this person has you in place. I don't know if you just. The person is sit at home. So when he does decide to come home. He needs a body in that house. Okay. You see the woman right there? He needs someone in that house. For him to feel like he's in control because he can control her he can abuse her he can use her he can manipulate her and she ain't gonna do shit about it and it makes him feel good about himself and he takes all of that energy and that bravado and that self-esteem that he gets from abusing the woman at home and it makes him feel more uh desirable to these i'm a man i'm a rah, rah. like you know what i'm saying like you know <laughs> This, and I feel like this man does this shit blatantly. She is looking. She's looking. There's somebody looking to see if they can find something on social media. Whatever the fuck you looking for, you ain't gonna find it on social media, baby. He ain't doing it in your face. What you need to look on social media for? What's the hesitation for? Release, it says, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. You know what this person's doing. This person ain't doing it to you. You're doing it to yourself because they're doing this shit in front of your fucking face. And I promise you, whoever the side bitch is, she, she know about you. She know who you are. She may be checking your social media or you're checking that person's social media. Yeah, whoever it is that don't square it up, you trying to act like a square... In the house being a doting wife, being a doting girlfriend and all that shit. So, and again, I have to preference that it could be someone in this situation that um, maybe they weren't playing that square role before, but they switched up and now all of a sudden they acting like a square. It ended up getting all of this shit. Yeah, a square looking for a husband type. Is this person a husband type? No. Mm, mm, mm. I just want one card. Then I'm getting the hell up out of here. Give me one card. What's the conclusion of the situation? Now they're singing them leaving on the midnight train to Georgia again. So I don't know. This person could be like going on. But you got the three of fucking swords. 
You got the three of swords, the ten of wands, and the seven of swords again. Oh my God. Y'all. I, I, look, honestly, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it one fucking hundred. I don't think that you're going to leave this person. And whoever, whoever this is, whoever this is, if you're not the masculine energy in this situation, yeah, if you're not the masculine energy, because it doesn't necessarily have to be that the that the man is the masculine energy. It could be a female that is very much so the dominant counterpart in this situation. Whoever the dominant counterpart is, the liar, the one that's blatantly disrespecting the person right in front of their face, the person on the receiving end is not going to be strong enough to remove their self from the suffering. This one right here, they're going to get away with what they're doing because you're allowing them to. They're going to drop you like a hot plot, like a hot plate of grits. Have you ever fucking went in the kitchen and, and mama said uh, uh, breakfast is ready and you go pick up the bowl of grits and like the whole outside of the bowl is so hot. Did you, you know what I'm saying? And everything spilled. Everything's wasted. Everything is wasted. Everything. Because remember, what was this lady saying in the beginning? Haven't I done enough? Like, what didn't I do? Like, you did all that shit for fucking nothing. This nigga still found somebody else and leaving you. Like, and then, like, don't let, like, this motherfucker might be taking some of his shit that he bought with you or for you and giving it to somebody. He's taking whatever you thought that you guys built and developed together. He's taking that shit with him on the road. He's not leaving you with nothing. He's sneaking out of the door. So I don't know if you pay attention, like maybe clothes missing, certain things missing, money missing, time missing, emotions missing, whatever the fuck. He's slowly inching himself. I, the motherfucker told you that I'm already, I'm already over trying to play this husband type shit. Like that's some bullshit. I don't need, like someone is putting on, they putting on. They are not no husband type. No, they are not no husband type. And then you got the seven of fucking swords again. You got the enemy on the fucking field twice. And y'all are out here spying, trying to figure out what this person is doing. It's not on social media, bitch. It's in your face. All right, I got to go because I can't even deal with this no more. This motherfucker is dropping you as a burden. Because now you're starting to question them and you, 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 you doing all this other extra shit. This motherfucker don't have to deal with you for real. You know what I'm saying? Like the only reason why this person had you so, so they could have someone to control and abuse in the house. <laughs> like, like this person is just someone that just doesn't want to be alone in a the house. They feel more... They feel more enriched within their self when they got someone that they can control and abuse. And that will willingly take their suffering willingly take their abuse like you just sitting there watching this person come and go come and go come and go <laughs> like oh my god anyway i gotta go because this is horrible i love y'all please love yourself if this resonated get the fuck out of here like get out of the situation get out of the situation because this is toxic unless you just don't like yourself and I don't care if y'all feel however y'all feel about what I'm about to say because sometimes people need to say harsh shit to them for them to have a reality check. What is it that you don't like about yourself that you will sit here and tolerate this shit? Because it got to be something that you don't like about yourself in the inside that someone could just blatantly disrespect you and spit in your face like that and you'll still sit at home waiting for them to come like, what did I do? What did I didn't do? What I didn't do? This motherfucker don't love you. What you don't get? What do you not get? I can't even hang around people that accept shit like this in their life because it makes me sick, especially a female, to see you sit there and let someone and let someone disrespect you like that. It's disgusting. And if this is you, I I, I ain't begging nobody to do shit. You got all these sevens and you got you you see the cars, baby. My cars don't lie. So you could you could play the fool if you want to. Like I told you, he's going to leave you. Okay? You're not even gonna get a chance. 
you're not even going to get a chance. Like God is telling you, no, this is not the one. It says, no, the answer is no to your question. No. And nothing positive coming from the situation. Balance. You need to find balance. Stop hesitating and release and get yourself out of this situation before this person helps you to the door. I got to go. Y'all hit the... I'm sorry, this triggered me. I got to go. Bye. <laughs>